What is up guys? Jake from One Hive here with another Clash video and it is official. CWL Season 2 announced all the teams, uh, all the matchups, all the schedule is out there. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, you need to check out the website or the uh, their Twitter feed. Uh, all been posted there and it is very exciting. I'm pumped up. Uh, March 17th it all starts guys that is next weekend not this coming weekend but the next obviously I'm going to be streaming uh, one hives matchups which uh, our first matchup is against reddit omega which is kind of interesting because one hops very first war coming off of season one was a random matchup with reddit omega in which one hop came out on top so I'm sure those guys are going to be looking for revenge I really want to get that loss back and one hive going to be looking to capitalize on the fact that they sort of had the secret sauce, whatever it was, had their number uh, in that particular war. So probably going into it confident, hopefully not overconfident, but again, very exciting matchup. I'm going to be streaming it. You guys need to be checking it out. Probably some sort of a video about it as well. But really just want to talk about, you know, the, the title. Uh, Clash will never be the same. And maybe a bit of a sensational title, but in my opinion, completely true. This season is going to be so pivotal, so important. The, the the success of this season pretty much means everything. You have got all of these teams in all four leagues. In my opinion, this is life. This is Clash life now. Nothing else truly matters. And really, this is almost as divergent as the game happened when, when war came out and and clan sort of diversion their own path whether it be pushing or farming or, or war and those clans that said hey war is all that mattered to us that's it nothing else really really matters um that's sort of how all the clans are about the cwl now i've listened to podcasts i've talked to people it's insane it's insane after one season how people have said this is it every other war is a warm-up leading up to my next CWL match. And that's really how they're all feeling about it. I know that's how One High feels about it. And all of these clans uh, are going to be looking to try to get that top spot. And honestly, I think you're going to see some surprises this season. I think last season was sort of, uh, you know, the first everyone was out there. Dark Lure was obviously a powerhouse and just kind of, kind of marched through it. But I really think you're going to see some more surprises this season. I think you're going to see some underdog stories coming out. Not that anyone in this uh, invite league is an underdog. I mean, you, you read through the list and it's just, you know, well-known clan after well-known clan after well-known clan. Uh, but that being said, I, I think you're going to see some things that you're like, whoa, how, where did this clan come from? What are they doing? Uh, and hopefully I will be there to help you guys uh, sort of follow along. Now, one thing I will say, and again, uh, this is nothing, in my opinion doesn't matter. I just thought I'd point it out. I looked at the brackets and it seemed a little strange that they would put Dark Looters and One Hop in the same bracket. I don't know how that happened. Normally you would put one and two in opposite brackets, uh, but in this season, obviously that's not how it went down. I don't know what formula they used or what system they used to match this all up, uh, but they're both in the same bracket if I'm reading that correctly. Uh, for season two, so should be interesting. There gonna be some uh, some head button early on, even before you start talking towards the towards the postseason. I guess the finals uh, and all of that. Um, but I want to touch base on, you know, why I think this is going to be so important. Because I think one or two things are going to happen. This season is going to be a huge success. It's going to be even bigger than last season. It's going to get even more of Supercell support, and it's going to bring even more people into the game and looking at this, even if they're not kind of like me, even if they're not like doing it, they're going to be interested in it. They're going to be watching it. They're going to be tuning in to see who is really on top of the heap this season, you know, and next season. It's going to be people are going to start picking their teams, and, and even if you're not a part of that clan, you might just like them. You might like their style, their attacks, or just the, their underdog story. It's kind of like March Madness. You know, here we are coming up on that. Uh, that's what this feels like to me, is that you don't know what's going to happen. You can't wait every week to see who's going to win uh, the matchups and go from there. So I think it's either going to be this huge success that uh, just builds on last season, all the great work that everyone uh, that was involved did with that, or the flip side of that. It's going to be something that, is what I worry about. I don't think it's what's going to happen, but I worry about it that Supercell doesn't throw their weight behind it as much or more than they did last season. And there's not that live final event that was epic and awesome and improved upon over the first season. And then it slowly starts to fade 
uh, the importance doesn't sort of stay up there. The, the, it doesn't stay on everyone's mind. And all these clans, all these, think about each one of these clans, the thousands of players that are completely laser focused on this. And not just them, but the, all the streamers and the YouTubers for each one of these clans that bring in viewers that just enjoy their content and their broadcast and their, uh, their wars that they bring to them. It's, it's tens of thousands, if not like 100,000 people that are just laser focused on this event in this season. And I know that's a small number in the scheme of things of the millions of people that play Clash, but still it is something that can grow. It's something that can have a spark that can continue every season. It's bigger, there's more clans, it's more competitive, it's put out there to, to more viewers that just enjoy it. Uh, again, even if they're not in the competitive war scene, uh, they can still do that. You look at games, any other esport game, and I'm not trying to say that Clash is gonna turn into this ultimate esport game, it's probably not, but you look at any esport game, even people that don't play at the highest level, they love watching it, they love enjoying uh, watching those super, super high level attacks or, or matches or whatever the, the format might be. And it brings them in and it makes them want to be able to do that. It, it, they learn from it. They, they pick little things up. They do all kinds of things uh, to draw in in these huge crowds and these huge player bases that say, hey, yeah, I can't I can't never be that guy. But I want to watch it, you know, and I think that's what Clash has a potential to do here because they've already got millions of players. You just have to sort of bridge that gap, let them know it's still enjoyable to watch, even if it's not their cup of tea, even if it's not their niche. They don't want to spend an hour finding an attack. They can still enjoy watching someone who did and just have a beautiful, uh, uh, you know, three star. They can get something out of it. They can get just pleasure of watching it. Uh, it can be that big and it can be that exciting. I cannot wait. I, you guys can't tell. I'm pumped up. Um, I hope all you are, and I hope Supercell is. Um, I'll actually probably roll in sometime if I've already done it. Uh, some The list, if you haven't seen it, of all the clans and, and all the different leagues and all that stuff. Again, I've had people ask me. I will probably keep my coverage to the Invite League. Nothing against the Premier League, the Rising League, the Light League. I know there was amazing clans in there. I, I, I recognize the names, guys that we've warred against in the past. Uh, so I already know that. It's just that it's too many guys. I'm already going to have trouble trying to cover and help people out more than just one off because they've got a war every week that everyone else does. So obviously that's going to be my focus, but uh, I will do my best, but I am going to try to uh, keep it to just the invite league just because that is more than I can handle. Uh, I apologize to anyone uh, that was hoping I would, I would come to their clan, but I will be uh, sort of following along in those other leagues as well and, and seeing who sort of comes out on top because I'm interested to know, you know, those clans are going to be the future ones that move up. Uh, you know, they start winning it a time or two, really doing well in those leagues. Next thing you know, they're going to be replacing some people that really struggled in the higher leagues and they're going to move up. And so uh, I am going to keep my eye on those as well. But again, just want to put this out there, let you guys know it's official, let you know it's coming. If you didn't already know, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you probably did, but some people do stumble across these videos that have no idea that this is going on. So I'm telling you, if you're still with me right now, that you need to tune in. It's going to be on Twitter. Uh, it's going to be on streams on Twitch. It's going to be on YouTube videos. Just sort of start following along. You might really enjoy it. It's a lot of good competition from some of the best players in the world. Uh, and I think that you might, it might be something that you sort of say, hey, I didn't realize that was out there. And here it is. And I'm enjoying it. So. Guys, uh, be looking forward to it next weekend. May even try to pop a stream in this weekend. We'll see. Not sure what the war situation is with One Hive, so we'll see about that. If there's a decent enough war to stream, I will probably jump on because I had a blast last time. Hope you guys did. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks in the background in this video. And get pumped. Get excited. CWL Season 2. Until next time, guys. Jake from One Hive. Doing my best to help you guys suck less.